So far we've looked at how to find the function given the graph and given the equation we have made a table. Um, now we want to look at uh, evaluating what the limit of the function is given a particular target x value and just the equation itself. So if we are working with a continuous function, meaning there's no holes, no gaps, no jumps, then finding the limit is pretty easy to do given the equation. All we have to do is substitute the given target x value into the function and then simplify. Okay, So we're asked to find some limits. Limit as x approaches negative 2. And our function is just the constant function negative 3. Notice that there's no x values to plug into. Since there's no x values to plug into, then our limit would just be itself negative 3. Okay. If you think about this, it makes sense. This right here would be the function y equals negative 3, which is a horizontal line. And regardless of what target x value that we're choosing, so if I choose negative 2 and I approach from the left and from the right, regardless of what target x value I choose, the, tar the y value that I will be approaching on this horizontal line will always be negative 3. So that makes a lot of sense with what we know about the graph. Um, the limit, for example, 7 here, the limit as x approaches negative 2 of negative 3 times x. So we're going to take negative 2 and we're going to plug it into the function in place of x. So the limit will be negative 3 times negative 2. So we get a positive 6. So the limit as x approaches negative 2 of our function negative 3 times x will be positive 6. All right, so we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 minus 2x squared. We're going to take the 1 and we're going to plug it in place of x in our function. So that would be 1 minus 2 times 1 squared. So that's 1 minus 2 times 1, which is just 1 minus 2, which gives us negative 1. So our limit would be negative 1. Okay, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 2 of this particular function. Pretty simple. Once again, we're just going to put a 2 in place of x everywhere that we see an x. So that's 2 times 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 2. We end up with 5 divided by 4, so our limit is 5 fourths. All right, so last one like this. Uh, we're asked to find the limit as x approaches negative 1, and we're given this particular function. So I'm going to put a negative 1 in place of x. So that would be negative 1 squared plus 8, and I'm going to take the square root of that. At the bottom, it's 2 times negative 1 plus 4. So at the top, we end up with a positive 1 plus 8, square root of 9, which gives us 3. At the bottom, we end up with negative 2 plus 4, which is a positive 2, and so we end up with a positive 2 at the bottom of our fraction. So the limit as x approaches negative 1 is 3 halves.